student athletes that are with you and then make an opening statement and then we'll open it up for questions. Uh, well, we have to have Xavier Rimmer to the right, Kim McDonald. Opening statement, uh, we won't. <laughs> <laughs> Not to be taken for granted, right? right? Okay. Not to be taken for granted. Questions? If you could ask the student athletes questions first before Coach Sam. Well, guys, uh, this coach has been keeping you under wraps all season. Are you, are you glad he finally let you go? Um, you know, just about, you know, he stays on there, especially me as a point guard. And, you know, he just wants me to control the team and take care of the ball. Uh -huh. Ken, uh, 11 and 12? How do you explain that? Yeah, just all work pays off. That's all I have to say. Uh, Xavier, just just you know, you guys, I think went on a twenty-two to one run or something. You got in the middle of the first first half. Just tell me about that stretch, you know, and what's going on. I get the tempo, man. No, everybody started making shots, and no, everybody's on the same page. And you know, got the tempo, went on that run, kept going, you know, came off the door. Is there something to? Is there some kind of secret behind why you guys shot so well? What, no, nah, I went on Steve. He just came out focused and we were ready to play. Ken, what is the deal with that mid-range jumper? I mean, were you just in the zone today or what? Uh, that's not working. <laughs> I mean, is that is that the best that you've shot it all season, or have you had other yeah, takes like this? That's the best I shot. Any, I mean, does it have anything to do with the gym or anything like that, or just why do you think that today was there? Um, could be the gym. <laughs> What'd you have for breakfast? <laughs> We had another team. We didn't beat them. You guys talk about how confident you were coming into this tournament. That's for them or for me. Coach got us well prepared. You know, we just all stayed focused. And you know, as a team, we, um, you know, we just ready, ready to play. You tell us we listen to him, we'll get the sense. Right. <laughs> For either of the players, uh, you know, they come to your guys' building and beat you on Saturday, and then you, and then you come out in this game, and at one point you guys are up by 14, 45 points. Just uh, how does that happen? Um, uh, when we was at our place, we let it slip away and just pay back and get them back. Coach, when you go into halftime with a 30 some odd point lead. What what exactly do you tell your players preparing for the second half? Um uh, I think what we talked about was uh you know a lot of people saw what happened on offense, but I was more impressed what happened on defense. We gave up on the four to well, eleven points before we get that, that last three point shot there at the end, uh the first half. So uh and we understood that this we told them at the half that the second half would be much, much tougher than the first half because you have a 40 point lead and you have tendencies of letting down and, you know, and they're going to come out super aggressive uh, on defense and on offense. So, and they did that. But what we have to do is continue to do what you've been taught and just play the game that you've played. Uh, and for the most part, uh, uh, for the most of the second half, we did that. We led up a lot, we had a lot of. Their uh, uh, turnovers there, but you know they were really playing aggressive. And uh, the thing we had to do was just make free throws and contain, and and we had to stay aggressive as well. So as we got into bonus really early, 15 minutes ago in the second half. Luther, the uh, just you know the shooting percentages. I mean, how how can you explain you guys, especially the guy to your right, you know, 11 or 12? But what was it? Well, uh, you know. You know, if uh, I guess as a coach, you know, I can't explain it. You just prepare the team, give them shots, and and hope for nights like this, but or days like this. But uh, you know, we believe in Ken, and uh, and we uh, actually ask Xavier to take more shots. He's a, a pretty good shooter as well. But as long as Ken is not shooting under stress, I think he he has a chance to shoot a high percentage every night, uh, and that. Uh, he does use the mid-range shot really well, and it's 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 uh, and he has a chance to be much more uh, accurate than the guys are shooting from from long range, and uh, and they can't get to him as fast. 
being a 5'11 uh, uh, shooting guard. But uh, I can't explain it. They went in, you know, but again, I think the team really, you know, they, they, uh, they fed off that and they motivated them to really play defense that much harder. So I really like the way our team played defense the first half. Ken, uh, no stress, I guess, then, right? It's a why was it so stress free first round of the SWAC tournament? Why was it? Um, like Coach said, SWAC like tournament, like you start a new season. Luther, did you know the, obviously, you know, first year coach, but did you know the last few years with this, you know, this team is done in this tournament? Do you have any idea when the last time they won a game here? Uh, well, I'm not a great guy on history, but, but uh, I think they won in 2002 uh, Coach Whitney. Uh, I don't think they won a game since then. I don't think, but... 2005. 2005, yeah. yeah, yeah. What's, what's it mean, you know, as a first-year coach to come here and, you know, get do something that hadn't been done in 70 years at, at, at all point? Well, you know, uh, when Dr. Brown hired me, he hired me for a specific reason. And, uh, and I tell the guys that you know, I try to be as prepared as any other coach in the country. And uh, what we try to do is, uh, you know, we're not afraid. I mean, we come in to win like everybody else is coming to win. You know, we're going to prepare like everyone else is going to prepare. And most importantly, uh, you know, it's just, a, we don't, I don't, you know, it's not a fear thing with me. Uh, I, don't, I don't know why that is, but uh, we come, we approach every game. Uh, and trying to try to prepare and win. Coach, what did you see as the biggest difference between this game and when you when you guys just played them? I mean, is there anything Prairie you did differently? No, no. And actually, when we played them at home, it was uh, it was uh, it was uh, we were down by ten at the half, and and it's first five minutes we cut the lead like in two minutes, and we went up by six or seven. But you know, we talked about. One thing in our scouting report and our uh, pregame talks, and, and one thing and I wanted the guys to remember the entire night, not me, but we. Not me, but we. And uh, if we adopted, if we would adopt that, adopted that last week, uh, we had some guys that were you know, playing individual ball. And, and this team could be, they could be okay if they're collective for 40 minutes, you know, on defense, or offense. Uh, where they think, how they hang out. Uh, I think that they learn to play. Uh, and, and, and then March, you know, if you want to be home early, you, know, you lose and you play individually, that happened, you know. So uh, they got together and collectively decided that, hey, uh, and I saw it in practice yesterday. One of the guys kept saying, every position counts. So what we're saying is kind of singing in. It's kind of late, but, you know, better now than ever. Right, Ms. Crowley? Right, indeed. <laughs> Looking to tomorrow, uh, Luther. Tomorrow. You had Texas Southern up. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you got tomorrow now. Uh, you had him up, you know, 11 and a half uh, a week ago or so. Uh, what do you got to do to close him out? Well, uh, first of all, uh, Coach Harvey does a great job with his team. Uh, uh, they're really big and strong and athletic and a uh, couple of pretty good shooters. and. Uh, we just have to, you know, go back and get prepared, and, and uh, hopefully we had a shoot night like tonight. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm teasing, but uh, we just have to go get prepared and be ready to play. And I know they'll be ready to play. Any final questions? Coach, do you think that uh, Texas Southern should take notice of you guys from the performance you guys put out today, or is it just another day tomorrow, so you got to throw this one behind you? You know, I don't know you personally, but... I don't work concern myself with, with the other guys. It doesn't even matter. I will, we're going to try to be ready. We're going to try to be ready. And uh, I know they'll be ready. And uh, I, I'm, 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 I'm sure that Coach Harvey, with, with the experience and coaching ability that he has, you know, you can't take anybody like they're doing this time. Uh, so. Coach, there's been a lot of emphasis on shooting and shooting percentages and scoring, but I'm noticing here. We out-rebounded Prairie View 46 to 34. Is that an important part of this victory? Very important, and and, uh, and that's you. you I think you. I did not call you Coach Cross the last game. That's right. <laughs> but that's very very. I told important. you to tell him the box out. <laughs> You're right. <laughs>
is very important. And uh, we're not a big team, but the rebound, uh, uh, you know, being B doesn't dictate who gets rebounds. It's position and toughness, you know, and having a heart and a willingness to go get it. And we show some of that tonight. So tomorrow we're going to be, uh, we're going to be that times two. Uh, Texas Southern will come out really, really, you know, uh, ready to put it to us tomorrow. Ken, you were one of the holdovers from the Larry Smith era. How does it make you feel to be in the second year in the semifinals, uh, knowing considering you had the record last season? Um, it's a great feeling. Um, last year we wasn't we wasn't able to uh, be here. Um, just gotta make the best of it. Thank you, gentlemen. Can I can I ask a question? Sure. I'll just <laughs> thank you guys. Coach, 